I guess Stephon Gilmore couldn't say no when they fly you out in the PJ. You really got no choice but to sign. So team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Graven here with another video. And the Colts, they got him one. They got him one. They signed Stephon Gilmore to a two-year, $23 million deal, I believe. So that would be 11.5 mil per. So, hey. You got it. You want quality, you got to pay for it. Stephon Gilmore um, most recently was on the Panthers um, after being traded there from the Patriots uh, after them acquiring him in free agency, I believe, after he was drafted and developed and did pretty well for the Bills. I forget a lot of times that he played for the Bills. It's so weird when to think of Stephon Gilmore as a Bill. It seems like that was like so long ago. Um, but the Colts, this was a... Uh, Nice move for them uh, because Stephon Gilmore, uh, he is, well, he was the best cornerback still sitting out there in free agency. Now, I was surprised that he ain't go to the Rams because once you start hearing about the Rams being interested in somebody, just go ahead. I, I What I do is take him off my list. I mean, I, I take him off the list. I figure, you know what? Rams interested in somebody, Rams will get him. Rams will get him. But in this case, they actually didn't. And I'm sure we'll hear in the coming hours if the Rams offered a deal or not. And if they did, how much that deal was that they offered and how it matched up um, to that of the Colts deal. So I'm glad uh, my sports update listed this. The, the Colts moves, the big moves that they made. Um, they got a Matt Ryan, of course. They, they traded for him from the Falcons. Um, and Matt Ryan, you know, he was gone from the Falcons either way. Because once the Falcons were all in on Deshaun Watson and they thought... That they had a chance to get him at right. I was like, okay, cool. You can push back my bonus. I'll wait. I'll be patient. No problem. Um, but the, they failed at that. They didn't get Deshaun, and boom. Matt Ryan was like, okay, bye. And they replaced him with Marcus Mariota. So we'll see how that goes. Um, they also got uh, Yannick Ngakwe. So that was a uh, that's a nice pickup. Now, Yannick, though, he's been he's been moving around. Things haven't been quite the same ever since he was a Jaguar because he went from the Jags to the Vikings to the Ravens to the Raiders. And the Raiders, he actually did he did pretty good last year with the Raiders, but now he's being traded to the Colts. Um, so this will be his, what, fourth, fifth team? I lost count, but shout out to Yannick Ngakwe, man. So hopefully uh, he, he does his thing and he goes over there and kills it. Uh, and they just signed, signed safety Rodney McLeod a couple of days ago. Um, and I believe he used to play for the Eagles. Um, so, yeah, the Colts, they've been moving. They've been moving. The Colts were, they were a solid team last year. Um, but their, their biggest issue, it obviously ain't the run game. Um, it surely ain't defense. Uh, wide receivers, you could talk about it a little bit, but it's been quarterback. It's been quarterback. Um, the Colts have been burned. At the quarterback position Of course they had Peyton Manning One of the best QBs to ever do it A lot of people feel like he is the best QB to ever do it um, And then Once Peyton Manning he got hurt And they let him go Of course he went to the Broncos Y'all know the rest of the story But they end up getting Andrew Luck Got Andrew Luck and Andrew Luck came in there He's looking good and then all of a sudden, sudden Randomly in that preseason game uh, Adam Schefter dropping a report before somebody else made it official by themselves before they, he wanted it to be put out to the public. So, you know, Adam Schefter, boy, he... Anyway, um, Andrew Luck retired. He decided to call it quits, and it ain't been the same since because uh, they went through guys like Jacoby Brissett. Um, they tried Phillip Rivers. They tried Carson Wentz. Um, now they trying uh, Matt Ryan. So you can't fault them for trying because at least they're they trying. They, they're making an effort, um, but it hasn't been successful for them yet. So Matt Ryan, not a bad quarterback at all. Um, been to a Super Bowl. We'll see uh, if he can take the Colts uh, to his second Super Bowl. Um, but we'll see how everything works itself out. But as far as Stephon Gilmore, I forgot that he was a defensive player of the year before. I, I didn't even realize that. Completely forgot. Um, but you get in the physical corner. Um, he, he is not the best ball hawk corner, but he'll get you some interceptions for sure. Um, but you, you're getting a, uh, a lockdown guy, man. So this is a, uh, A1 move, great move. Um, again, 11.5 mil per, 
Uh, we'll see how much guaranteed money is in there and whatnot. But a nice deal for Stephon Gilmore, especially um, this late in free agency. Because usually this late in free agency, you're getting bargains. You're signing guys for bargains. You're signing guys for one-year deals. You ain't, they ain't really making no significant money right now. Uh, but for Stephon Gilmore to still get that much money at this point, like right before the draft too, that's that's really good on his part. So shout out to him. And shout out to the Colts for giving it to him. Team, keep it clean. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out.